and just looking at your inbox, you know, it made me a believer. So I'm going to start blasting Craigslist. <laughs> and the cool thing about it, you can sell anything, you know. This isn't specifically for any business, you know. No, yeah, this isn't like, yeah, this isn't just about jobs and this isn't just about, you know, multi-level marketing. This is about anything. Make sure it's not distorted. <laughs> Are you happy, Brian? No, I'm not right. <laughs> People coming in? Mm -hmm. uh, we can use Skype, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> funny, I saw you. I just want to welcome everybody and thank everybody for deciding to come here and hang out with us tonight and check it out. We got some very, very powerful information that we're going to share with you. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name's uh, Big Polly. That's my nickname. That's what all my friends call me. And I'm your number one affiliate, a.k.a. the Kingmaker, a.k.a. that guy in the corner. Well, check it out. Uh, I've been online for about seven years and uh, was able to retire from corporate America at a pretty young age, replace a very strong six-figure salary by using the internet and different programs on the internet to make money online, which I know a lot of you guys are here to try to learn the secret uh, to making money online, and I'm going to share with you the secret right now. Just go ahead and get it out the way. The secret is you got to work and you got to work hard. You have to find somebody that knows what they're talking about. You have to do what they say over and over again until it works for you. That's the big secret, okay? That, that, I mean, I can't share with you any magic, you know, pixie dust to sprinkle on your computer and all of a sudden you're going to start making money overnight. No, it's it's hard work. It's learning some skills and it's applying those skills. Well, uh a, a while ago, I, uh, yeah, exactly. A while ago, I ran into a gentleman at an event uh, by the name of Brian, and uh, Brian, we were talking, we were out in the hallway, just kind of chit chatting, and I found myself, you know, kind of skipping part of the event because I was more intrigued with this guy here. Brian is is one of those uh, rare one in a million type guys that you come across somebody once maybe twice in your lifetime if you're lucky that just has this this spark this, they know what they're doing they've done it for a number of years and they have just been consistent in everything that they do so I had an, a perfect opportunity to meet this gentleman and uh, I'm happy to say we became really good friends and uh, we have you know masterminded together work on different projects and stuff together and it's just been a fantastic relationship and I'm just so thankful to get to know Brian well before I bring Brian out, uh, I want to go over a couple of uh, housekeeping rules. Uh, these things, the cell phones, Skype, the kids, the dog, you know, the TV, radio, turn all that off, okay? Do yourself a favor, turn all of that off. Uh, put yourself in the moment because Brian is going to share with us knowledge that is going to blow your socks off, okay? Uh, be fully present, be fully in the moment, take notes. Uh, I believe we're going to record this. Uh, we're going to uh, have uh, have this uh, uh, on replay for uh, people that are part of our group. And if you're not part of our group, go to Facebook, go to groups, and request to join Freedom from Concern. Is that right, Brian? Freedom, Freedom from Freedom from Concern. I can put it up on the page. Yeah, let me awesome. put it. Up. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Let's do screen share. Okay, share. Okay. There you go. Do you see it? Yep, freedom from concern. Well, yeah, freedom from concern. Yep. 
I hear it. Freedom from concern. That's what we're going to do. And if you guys got any comments, uh, questions, I'm going to be sort of moderating a thread in our group. Uh, go ahead and put your comments in there, and uh, we will try to get all your questions answered in a timely fashion. Can't guarantee we'll get to everybody in tonight's webinar, but uh, Brian's going to go through some awesome information. And uh, Brian, why don't you come on out and share with us why uh, you decided to do this webinar. It was kind of spur of the moment, like a couple of days ago, you were like, I wonder if we can do this webinar and, and do some training for folks. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Polly, man. Big Polly is number one in my book. He is totally, totally, totally awesome. <laughs> and uh, I cannot say enough about this man, how awesome he is, and how instrumental he has been in helping me launch this webinar from beginning to end in one day. We're talking one day. We had an idea. And I said, you know what? I want to share this with thousands of people, and I want to do it tomorrow. <laughs> and we did it. We did it, man. And, and, and it's been so incredible how we've hosted everything for free, and we've everything is done for free, and everything got implemented instantly. We had thousands and thousands of signups. It's, it's been it's been incredible to get um, so many signups in such a short amount of time. With um, Big Polly's help and uh, with the people I know and the groups that I know and our list that we know, it's it's been incredible. So um, really want to thank you a lot for being instrumental in setting all this up. It was awesome. Really good. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah, man. All right. So why are we here tonight? We're here because um, a lot of people that I've been speaking to in groups and speaking to <clears throat> on Facebook and uh, on the phone, <laughs> they run out of people to talk to. And um, I don't run out of people to talk to. I don't run out of people in my funnel. I don't run out of people in my autoresponder. And um, some, some people say, you know, go buy leads. And, uh, you know, they're old, stale leads, cheap leads. And um, they... You know, they're so stale and old that most of the time people don't want to talk to you. So, um, I've been implementing several traffic sources and, and key technology that is all free um, to not only create the traffic and capture the leads, but book scheduled appointments into my Gmail calendar. Which is pretty awesome. I mean, the people actually say, "I want to talk to you. Schedule a time," and uh, it's it's really, really, really cool. And um, I'll show you how to set that up, how to do that. And um, this could be instrumental with Facebook. So, like, if you talk to someone and you want to schedule an appointment, you could either pop it in yourself and schedule it, or the best thing to do is put it in um, your link for you know your brand if if you have a domain or website. Um, you know, put that schedule in there and let them sign up themselves and say, you know, hey, what? You know, just pick a day on the calendar and pop it in. So that's what I want to teach you guys to do is how to get a lot of leads, how to get a lot of leads into your email funnel or autoresponder, and how to book the people to actually speak to you when uh, they want, when they're available. So how's that sound, Polly? Sounds awesome, man. Let's do it. Sound good, man? All right. So first things first, we want to make sure that – can you see my screen or I'm, I'm not sharing it right now? Yeah, go ahead and share your screen. Okay. We want to make sure well, – no, that's not the one I want to share. We want to make sure that you guys um, join the group. Freedom from concern, so we can, if we have any questions or if we get any, you know, feedback, if we ask questions, that um, you're in there and you're messaging and hitting up Polly and he's going to monitor it. And first question I have for you guys is how many people own a domain or a website name?
So um, that's what I'd like to have an answer if you guys, you know, throw that in the group. Um, just to, you know, understand where we're at, who we are, if we're all pretty new, if we own any assets or anything like that. What do you think about Polly? Yeah, that's one of the keys uh, is you got to have uh, real estate on the Internet. And so that was one of the things I learned a few years ago that you got to, you know, get a domain name or a website or blog or something where you can, you know, call your own. Right, right. Totally, totally, man. Cool. So, um, several people have domains. That's awesome. Several people have domains. Several people don't. Not a not a problem at all. So the next thing we're gonna go through is how many of you guys would like to learn how to set up a job application and get people um, submitting the form and everything for free, completely free hosted through um, the systems that everybody already has. So. So what I'm going to show you guys now is the first step. Whenever I'm going to um, show you first how this works. So the first thing is um, the form. Let me pull up the form right now. So how the form works is let me explain to you guys. There's a concept, and the concept is called micro-commitments. Micro-commitments. And micro-commitments are basically they're little trusts. They're tiny trusts. So every time someone does a step or does a answer to a problem, you're gaining their trust. Can you see as I'm typing? Oh, yeah. Okay, so you're gaining these people's trust. So it doesn't matter what it is that you're asking for, whether you're asking for an email or you're asking for um, what color are their pants, or you're asking for how much do they weigh, or you're asking for what color car do they drive, or what kind of car do they drive. Each time you ask a question, you gain someone's trust. How cool is that? So the thing that we do is we can ask a question, and if you ask a targeted question in the right manner, you actually get more of a result based on asking them for something to give them. So if you ask to give them, let's say, if you ask them for your, their email address, they're just a lot of times kind of, you know, oh, this is scammy or whatever. But if you ask them something that relates to what they're searching for. So let's say someone's searching for um, a weight loss book, okay? Someone's searching for weight loss, right? And they type on the internet, I want to lose weight fast. And you come up and you ask them, hey, I know you want to lose weight, but how fast do you want to lose weight? Or why do you want to lose weight? So each time you ask a question, you're gaining their trust. So here's where what I'm doing right now. For example, let me pull up my results so you guys can see where I'm at and what I can actually accomplish. 
So you can, um, let me share my screen here. Screen share. Entire screen share. Can you see my screen? Oh, yeah. Okay, so here, um, obviously, I've been getting some results. You know, you can see AWeber notifications, notifications, notifications. And, um, you know, this is um, for a particular AWeber um, list that I have. And let me show you this here. Uh, grab this. You can see here. Um, I mean, I've I've been doing this uh, quite you know quite a while. So. You could just see you know I could scroll for hours just big team big team you know all these different. Yeah. You know, how cool is <laughs> just that? Just you know, constant <laughs> notifications. <laughs> you know, just Brian, if you don't mind me just jumping in here for a hot second, you know, for people that are doing online business and it doesn't matter the program, do you think you could be successful if you're getting these leads emailing you wanting more information or wanting asking you for help? How awesome is that? Do you think you could crush any business out there if you were getting that type of result? <laughs> yeah. Man, it just blows me away, Brian. All right, take it away. <laughs> uh, no problem, no problem. All right, and the, the really cool thing is, um, you know, i got to show you this here. When, um, let me log out here. When they come in, right, And they actually book themselves into a calendar. Okay, so it's filling up my Gmail calendar. So if I go to my Gmail calendar, look at this booked. Look, look at my calendar. <laughs> it's like completely booked. <laughs> wow. And it's all automated. <laughs> how cool is that? I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> So I mean, I could just go, you know, all day long. It's it's like booked. So like that's what I want to teach you guys. It's like it's so easy to do this. And um, one particular niche that I use is jobs um, in Craigslist. But you can utilize this for all kinds of scenarios. So let me teach you the mechanics of how to do it. And we'll discuss the philosophies of where to do it later. Um, but, you know, we have to have some place to start, which, you know, we're going to start with Craigslist. So let's start with Craigslist. So here we go. So um, under the account, let me open one up. Let's say you have um, a sales position, okay? Let's say you have a sales position, and actually that's not a cool ad. Let's look at a cool ad. And how you want to post the ad is um, there's a couple of guidelines that I want to go through, okay? And let me go through them right now. You can see my screen, right? Everything's cool? Yeah, we can see it. Okay, so let me show you what that is. The important notes. Okay, Craigslist, I don't post free ads out of my state, okay? I don't post free ads out of my state. If I want to use Craigslist and post free ads, I will have different accounts with different email addresses and different phone numbers. And you can get a phone for like five bucks, a prepaid phone, and you can get it set up on Craigslist for five bucks. You can go in Walgreens, you can go in you know, Walmart, pick up a prepaid phone, and get an account for five bucks. You know, it's not, not really hard to do. And you know, if you want to get uh, hundreds and hundreds of numbers, um, you know, we'll put in our in our Facebook group. Um, a resource where you can get hundreds of numbers if you wanted to, if you wanted to blow this up and really 
really, really scale it. So the next thing is paid ads on Craigslist, they just they make bank. I mean, there's no other way to say it. They make bank and they make tons and tons and tons of leads. Paid ads on Craigslist, they don't get denied. I have never ever been denied. I've never been shut down. Paid ads on Craigslist, they never get ghosted. I never ever get ghosted. And paid ads on Craigslist, Craigslist, they get tons and tons of traffic. Let me show you my tracking system. This is something that um, custom tracker that I have. Okay. So within a day, I got 146 clicks, and I got 34 leads here. Okay. That's a tracker there. So. Let me see Craigslist, if I could show you some more stats. Actually, let me just sort it by last click. Actually, clicks and views. There we go. So There is just tons. See, I got like 9,000, 7,000, 10,000. I mean, I got tons, and I got tons, and I got tons, and I got tons and tons and tons of clicks on all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Sweet. So, so um, what the guidelines? Let's keep going through the guidelines. Paid ads on Craigslist, they are so simple to edit and revise on the fly. You don't have to fight through email and find that email that has this special link, and you click on the link, or you lose the email, and you can't revise the ad. And you go to your account and you manage it. And you can revise it over and over again. And if you revise it and if you edit it, you can keep your Craigslist ad alive for a long time, for like 30 days, if you just go in and edit it and revise it and edit it and revise it. So that's one really great thing about paid ads too. The other thing is tracking is not necessary because... Inside AWeber, you have form tracking. So when you're capturing leads with like an opt-in or an autoresponder or something, let me show you how easy this is. Okay. If you go to AWeber and let me log in here. Can you see my screen okay? Yeah, we can see it. Okay, cool. So if you go to AWeber and you look up sign up forms, okay, what you're going to see on sign up forms is um, which one was it? Oh, oh, the max thing. Max. Oh, whoop, whoop. Going too fast. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, there you go. So you can see displays here. See displays? So displays will actually be your tracking. So you can know how many people looked at your form, how many people submitted the form. Okay? This is one of my demo accounts, so I'm just showing you guys. I'm not showing you my real account that has 90% conversions. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, um,. Now let me show you guys the form. Now this might blow your mind a little bit. Not a whole lot of people know how to do this. When you go to a form and you actually have it created in AWeber, AWeber has a mechanism that allows you to host it. So after you create your form, you design it, you put your settings in, where you want it to redirect to, okay, and publish it, when you go to publish it, you have a choice of installing the code, installing the raw HTML, and having AWeber host it. And basically, AWeber hosts your form. Watch this. Bam. 
It doesn't require hosting. It doesn't require a website. You could throw this in a domain. And um, here, for example, let me show you how to do this with um, one of my favorite hosting providers is Namecheap. And um, you know, if you want access to any of this stuff, I think we have a file section. We're going to put it in the group. So um, let me log in with Namecheap and just show you guys how this works. So inside your where you own your domain, you know, and you can get a domain for like five bucks, you know. And many people have domains because they don't like to have their long affiliate links. So when you go to your domain and you look at your domain, there's something called hosted. Okay. So all your host records in your domain, this is whether you're forwarding it or whether you're redirecting it or frame, it doesn't matter. You still have host records. You have a www, you have an app, which is like a wildcard, and you can create host records. So I could make like survey, I could make like um, one time offer, and all you have to do, I have made jobs here, and I took my Aweber form, bam, and I made it a URL frame. Do you see that, Polly? URL frame? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I made it a URL frame. So now watch the magic happen. Jobs.tycoonprofit.com. Bam. Website. <laughs> oh, wow. It's so you mean, you mean I can go get, like, you know, uh, Susan Ray Martin is cool.com and do that uh, domain thing and just have it point directly to my Aweber form and that's it? That's it, man. That's it. And you can start Aweber for a buck to try it, you know? So it's like, yeah. it's not a very expensive solution here. And you're not dealing with, you're not dealing with websites or coding or anything like that. There's, there's nothing to it. It's just crazy easy. And you can have unlimited, okay, did I, did you hear me? I said unlimited websites by doing this. You just add host records. You That's can add as many host records as you want. And what it does is this is called a child record. It puts it in front of the domain. So it's kind of like an alias. So anything you put in front of the domain is your website. And that's how you can redirect things. That's how you can mask things. And you use your tracking on the back end inside Aweber. And it shows you your form stats. Bang. Yeah. I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> I just learned a huge golden nugget. Cool. Pretty awesome, huh? So the next thing I'm going to say is we're going back to the content, okay? Going back to the content, for example, this here. So let's say we're looking for people for that, that want to look for a job or they're looking for an opportunity. So when you ask them micro-commitment, so each thing is a commitment. So you say, are you employed? And they think to themselves, they actually have to talk to themselves with a micro-commitment. So when they're talking to themselves, they're saying, yeah, I'm employed. And you're gaining their trust for each actual step that they complete and each question that they ask in their head. So when they ask the questions in their head and they're thinking, do I want to work full-time or part-time? They're just on automatic mode. They're like in, you know, you've heard of fight or flight where it's just like automatic and like there's there's nothing that, you know, controls it. It's just part of the subconscious. As soon as they start asking themselves questions, they just start putting things in. And um, I actually like to put the email down at the bottom um, right above. So um, let me move that around. I'm going to edit this. You can see how fast it is to change stuff in Aweber. So I'm just going to drag it, okay, down to the bottom. I'm going to hit save. Okay, I'll refresh it, and then bam, my website's refreshed. How cool is that? Was that pretty simple? That's very simple. Awesome, awesome. So you ask them their name. Okay, this isn't intrusive at all. They're like, sure, I'll give you my name. My name is James. And they're like, you ask them, are you employed? Well, no, I'm not employed. I'm looking for a job. Um, are you looking for full-time or part-time? I'm looking for part-time. 
How many hours a day can you work? Oh, well, I think I can work six. When can you start? Oh, do I have to put in two weeks or can I start immediately? You know, then they can put immediate, you can ask them. So I forgot immediate there, so let me go back and put immediate. So I'm going to just click that, and I'm going to add immediate, hopefully I spelled this right, immediate, the eight, Lee, does that look right? Immediately? Did I spell it right? You there, Polly? Yeah, sorry about that. My, uh, <laughs> I it out. Okay, so I added immediately. Okay, so. Yep, yep you got it. That's well right. So now I'll save it, and we'll go back, we'll refresh it. Bam! So we're all done. So they, they start, you start gaining their trust for each little commitment they check. And once you get down to the end, they're like, oh, well, I just filled that whole form out. They want my email address? Okay, I guess I'll give it to them. James, hat, whatever. And then they press apply. And when they press apply, it says, oh, wait, you didn't fill out the field. So you can actually tell them that it's required, okay? So in your AWeber form, you could go back to your field and say, are you employed? I need to know whether they have a job or not. At the bottom here, there's this little required checkbox, see? If you wanna know if they're full-time or part-time, there's a little checkbox. So you, you can force them to actually fill out the info before they hit submit. How cool is that? So once they submit it, email address not valid. <laughs> Let me use one more. Oh, there's an at symbol there. Then it'll return to whatever presentation you want it to return to. So what I have been doing is this is the cool part. Are you ready for the cool part, Polly? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> there's more. There's more. <laughs> So what I have been doing is I send them to a calendar. So instead of telling them to apply, apply. we're going to tell them to book an appointment. And when they click an appointment time, okay, you're going to ask them standard questions for, you know, to book an appointment. And here you go again. You can take your appointment page, which um, you know I'll give you access to in the uh, members area where you can get this for free, this booking an appointment. And what you can do is go back to Namecheap. We're going to put um, iCal, right? Put the URL in. We'll do a frame. And we'll save it. So inside your domain, now we have iCal, iCal dot, and then, oh, it probably has to update a little bit. Let's see. Save it. iCal, make sure it goes to the right place. It might take a minute to refresh. We'll go back to it later, but so that's how you do it is um, you add your calendar in there and what they do is after they enter their information, you can actually redirect them from the calendar to your special presentation or to your intro video or to your more information. So you actually don't have to give them a website. You can bring them to schedule a booking. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a 
cool schedule booking. I'm going to show you guys how to make a cool button. I'm going to go to one of my favorite websites called Cool Text, and we're going to make a button. We're going to say schedule and appointment. Okay? Can you see that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Pretty cool. I think I want to make it orange, though. I like I like the color orange. There's some psychological trigger that makes people, from a lot of studies, say that orange just converts better, and uh, people click on orange. So we'll go with orange. Cool. So I like orange. Schedule an appointment. Sharp. I'm um, gonna make none. That looks pretty. Now I'm going to create the button, download the image. Okay. And now I'm going to host the image actually inside Gmail. So I'm going to go to my normal Gmail account. I'm going to click on this little crazy dots and click more and click photos, right? Now this is all free and it also can help you with um, SEO purposes, but that's a whole another ball of wax. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to grab my button that I just made. I'm going to upload it into Gmail. Hit the button, copy the button, copy image URL. I'm going to test it, make sure I can go to the URL. So I got the button now, schedule an appointment. So we're going to go back to Aweber, and we're going to click the button. Over here you have an advanced tab. And what you do is you just pop this new button right under here. And we should get... I don't know where that little submit thing came from. Must not have saved it. There's our scheduled appointment. How's that look? Wow, that's cool. So, Brian, will that work with uh, sites like Photo Bucket or other sites, or? Or yeah, just... I like to use Google Plus, but yeah, you can use Photo Bucket. You can use Flickr. Um, and in a, in a minute, I'm going to tell you a, a trick with Craigslist. So. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, and, and it's something that it's kind of like a required thing. Okay. So um, awesome. right now we're just, you know, making the schedule an appointment. So we'll make schedule an appointment. Now we'll make it go to um, step two. We're going to make it go to the calendar. See if that's working yet. Yep, it works. We're going to make it go to iCalendar. I'm going to pop that in, pop that in, save it. So now, when they go to the form, I uh, lost the form. <laughs> What's the form called? Jobs. So now when they go to the form jobs, it's going to say schedule an appointment. And when they click that schedule an appointment, it's going to bring them to none other than the calendar. I gotta enter that CAPTCHA 2852. And how do you like me now? <laughs> <laughs> how cool is that? Man, that's that's awesome. So when you ask people to, you know, fill out a job application, instead of asking them to apply, you're asking them to schedule an appointment. 
to actually speak to someone for an interview. How cool is that? Wow. Wow. Man. <laughs> I learn something every single time I'm around you, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's go to Craigslist. So let me tell you guys something. If you guys participate in the group and if you guys hang around, there's going to be some cool bonuses. And let me just show you a couple of the bonuses that you're going to see if you stay around to the end. Bam! You're going to get some ninja code for any web page, web page, how you can pre-populate the Facebook description and the thumbnail for any sh website you want to share. It's just some little ninja code you can pop into any website. You're going to get how to schedule in front of you. So let me show you my desktop here. You want to keep your schedule in front of you on your desktop? I teach you how to do this. How cool is that? But you know, when you're looking for your schedule or you're looking for something and you need something in front of you all the time. What do you think about that? You ever used that before, Polly? No, no. I'm I'm all ears, man. I'm I need to get that <laughs> bonus because <laughs> I'm I rely so much so heavily on my phone and iPad that it's just you know, and I'm sitting here and to have that right in front of me all day long, that would be super, super great. Super it nice. Kind of keeps you motivated and keeps you on track, right? Oh, Every absolutely. You look at your computer and look at your desktop, it's like, wait a minute, I forgot to do that. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. That's a little tip I've been doing for, I don't know, like 20 years <laughs> since Windows was around. <laughs> nice. So I'm going to show you guys a syndication strategy. Um, I'll give you a blog loop link wheel strategy and a cool video on how to rank YouTube super fast. So you guys want to stick around to the end. Definitely want to stick around to the end. <laughs> so next, how to post a Craigslist ad for our job offer. So now that we have the form, and we um, have the schedule. The next is the content. Let me show you guys something. Okay. Well, Brian, while you're doing that, I'd like to... Uh throw it out there for people who might have been late jumping on. If you have any questions or comments, go to our Facebook group. Uh, do a search for Freedom From Concern. That's facebook.com uh, slash groups slash Freedom From Concern and uh, post your, com your question or comment in there. So if you check out one of my offers here, there's something unique about it. Now, inside the posting, there's a picture, okay? This is a trick with Craigslist. If you post a picture that is posted like on Google or on Photobucket or on Flickr, this helps you not get ghosted as much. And um, it also gets you a lot of organic SEO traffic. So if people are searching for jobs or searching for whatever, the actual filing, okay, when you look at this picture, is, um, let me save this picture and show you. Or actually, I'll just copy the image location. Copy the image location. You can, um, like, actually have file names, okay? So, like, the file name is ABB2, right? You can name your file, like when you save the picture, um, you know, monster job search or monster local job search. And that little tiny thing inside the image, okay, let me show you some a trick with this. So um, this is some ninja stuff. I'm going to go into something that I learned a long time ago that a really cool programmer taught me, okay? A lot of people probably haven't seen this before. So what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to save this image as um, Florida local shop, right? I'm going to save it. And what you can do is when you go to the folder and you right click on Florida local job, you go to properties and you go to details, right? Uh, I think it might have to be a JPEG. Let me make this a JPEG. File save as JPEG for the local jobs. I'm going to save it. And when you go to properties on it, and then our details, you can put keywords inside your picture. So you can put keywords like as comments. You can put keywords as a subject, um, the date, the copyright. So you can actually put keywords inside like monster. Okay, and Google searches the stuff. Okay. Wow. You know, Brian, nobody does this stuff. <laughs> so what you do is you save this file, you upload it to, I upload it to Google because Google already has access to this. It already has the information. So because it has the information and it has your keywords, you get organic traffic of like crazy that nobody else is getting. How cool is that? I'm blown away. That is a powerful <laughs> technique you just showed us, dude. My, my <laughs> mind, my wheels are turning on what I can do with just that. Awesome, 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 awesome. So, back to Craigslist. So, how I make the ad is, um, whoops, back up. You do, you know, a cool title, and basically, you know, when you're looking at Craigslist, you can grab someone else's title, but we'll give you a couple sample title, you know, sample ads if you want in the group. All, you know, we'll put them under files. We'll put a couple sample ads in there. So you want to put in there, like about 25% text, 30, less than 30% text, and um, you know, you just do a standard ad that for a job posting for customer service or a sales rep or a real estate sales, you can do this just for all kinds, all kinds of different categories. If you go look and you actually do a post, um, I, I'll show you guys, I don't know if you've ever looked at Craigslist, but when you go post an ad and you choose a job, you have all of these categories. You have business management, you have teaching, you have art and design. So, you know, you have to use your brain power a little bit and have a little creativity, writing and editing. So you can put out writing jobs for people that like writing. You could put out web design jobs for people that love the computers. You can put out um, system networking jobs. You can put out sales jobs. Everybody uses sales. You could do um, retail. Um, you can look for specific real estate, um, you know, agents, all kinds of, there's just all kinds of choices that you can do. And if you utilize the micro commitments and you ask really, really, really targeted things that are personal about that person, you're going to get 80% conversions at the minimum. I'm telling you, when these people are looking, they are looking for something different. And when they're going through ads and every ad looks the same and they run across your ad and you have a cool button that says schedule an appointment, how many people do you think are scheduling appointments on Craigslist? Come on. What do you think, Paula? You think anybody's scheduling appointments on Craigslist? Well, you are. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> so... Um, when you, you create your image, 
And you could do that with a print screen, and it's really simple. You just press print screen on the keyboard. You do your ad, actually, in, um, I do my ad in Word. And if you do your ad in Word, you can, you can make things, you know, look like links, and you can make things, you know, look bold and pretty. And once you do it in Word and you have it exactly how you want it, you press print screen on the keyboard, and you save it as a file. Um, I use this little program called iView. Um, iView is like one of my favorite programs, but you can use any photo editor and you know, you just paste it and crop it and crop it, you know, and save it. Really simple to make an ad like this. It's not hard. And then once you have the image, you, you know, go back to your Gmail account, right? And you go to this little crazy square, you go to more, you go to photos, and you upload your photo. And then bing, bam, boom, you got your ad. And basically, um, you use a little bit of HTML in the ad. Let me um, show you repost what it looks like. It just has a little bit of HTML, you know, breaks and image tag. Now, here is a key thing here. Now, people have to understand the redirect URL inside your Craigslist ad, it's very, 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 very important. This is a trick. This is a ninja trick. So get your pen out and write this down, okay? Never use a free link. Never use a Google link or a public type of URL that's all over the Internet. You need to use either your website, so you could use pretty link. So, like, if I go to... Um, blog, let's see, blog. Let me show you guys what Pretty Link is. Pretty Link is like inside WordPress, if you guys have a WordPress or you have a website or whatever. Um, or also the Namecheap thing. Um, I'll just show you, like, a lot of people that have websites, I'm just going to show you. Just You don't have to have a website, but I just want to show you what Pretty Link is. Pretty Link is a little free app that you basically add a link, anything you want, and um, you take the website, pop it in, and you give it a pretty name like um, Jobs, and create, and Pretty Link is going to track and redirect for you. So. You can also do this inside Namecheap or inside your domain, wherever you bought it, whether it's GoDaddy or whatever, under the host records. You could use a redirect like jobs, you know, dot your domain or um, real estate dot your domain, whatever it is. The point is, is this href, your actual link that you're putting inside as a clickable website, you don't want it to be a public URL like a Google or a free redirect or a um, shortener, so, anything like that. So it, you're talking it about to be a private, private domain that nobody sees. So Brian, to clarify, you're you're saying don't use those shorteners like Bitly and goo.gl and don't use those types of links, right? Never, ever, 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 ever. <laughs> when it comes to Craigslist, use a private like website or domain that you own. Um, that way that you, and I would suggest, like, you can use that, you know, for Craigslist specifically. Um, you don't have to, but, like, if you have, like, a personal brand, like, you know, BrianBrownTV.com or anything, that's perfectly fine, too. Um, but, like, sometimes I'll make, like, um, like, for example, I have this one called U.S. Jobs Online, okay, and I just set that up specifically for Craigslist, you know, U.S. Jobs Online, and um, floated out my survey. This is uh, one of my tactics where you can actually do this with AWeber. Um, we're kind of getting off on a tangent. This is like way more ninja, and I don't really share this a whole lot. But um, if you do micro commitments in individual portions where you ask them one question and nothing else on the screen, that can increase your opt in rate and your lead rate by 50%. I don't really want to go into this this other thing right here, but we'll, we'll talk about it in the group later on if someone wants more information about how to do 
individual micro commitments instead of a form micro commitment, um, this can just blow up your opt-in rate. I mean, I have I have opt-in rates at like 98%. I've had some campaigns, 2,000 clicks and 2,000 emails. 100% opt-in rate by doing this. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really boosts the conversions if, if you see stuff like this, but we'll go into that later. Um, it, it's along a turbo micro-commitment instead of a standard micro-commitment, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's like taking turbo fuel and throwing it on the micro-commitment level. <laughs> so, um, anyways, so I have US jobs, right? And, you know, I'll use that for my, you know, domains inside here. This particular one is my custom tracker, so I made my own URL to track, so. Um, and that's pretty much it, you know. You you do the ad, and you sit back, and you just start collecting, man. <laughs> you start collecting emails. You start scheduling appointments, and it this looks crazy, man. Should I should I pull up? Should I pull up my email account again? No, oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. All right. So yeah, it just looks like um, you can put, you can put. This looks like this. <laughs> A full schedule. <laughs> that is that is so cool. <laughs> uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. So, any questions? Are there any questions that uh, in the group, or any questions that anybody want to know? Yeah. Now, well, you know, Susan you Ray Martin says this is so cool, <laughs> and I agree with her. <laughs> well, I hope I I delivered and I blew people's minds and really showed you what you're capable of doing on. Not just Craigslist, but I mean, if if you really think about the micro commitment level, you can do the micro commitment level on Facebook. You can do the micro commitment level on CPC campaigns, on traffic campaigns, on paid click campaigns, on media traffic campaigns, on media buy campaigns, and it just goes on and on and on. The micro commitments really work if you ask the right questions along the right search that these people are looking for. They don't say no. They don't say no. I mean, this works with weight loss. If someone's looking for a weight loss pill and you ask them, hey, um, why do you want to lose weight? You make them answer a question to themselves. And right as you, they answer that question and they speak to themselves, internally, their subconscious is like, wow, that was awesome that they asked me this. And then they want to answer another question. When do you want to lose weight? A month, a year, two years? Um, do you have a special occasion? And each more personal question you get asking, you're gaining more and more and more trust. And I would say, as a good gauge, ask four questions. I would be between four and six questions. I don't ever exceed six questions, um, but six questions work. You know, um, when, when I used to do uh, traditional offline business back in the day, uh, some of my mentors, you know, the old school guys would say, you know, you don't walk up to people and say, hey, would you like to make $2,000 a month? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, everybody's like, you know, yeah, no, whatever, you know, whatever. Right. But, the real answer is, okay, you say you want to make $2,000 a month. What do you want to make $2,000 a month for? They said time and freedom over money. Time and freedom over money. That's powerful. Interesting. That's powerful. Hmm. Wow. Wow. I'm thinking about changing some of my sales copy to, you know, really, you know, include that word, you know. Right, right, right. All right, man. So I think that takes care of it. You know, I think we, we covered a lot. 
Uh, does anybody have any questions? Uh, I'm checking the group now. Uh, I don't see any questions coming in, but then again, uh, some folks might have uh, got kicked off and they may be coming in late. Let me uh, refresh and see. Okay. Uh, I think we're good so far. Again, you know, if anybody has any questions, jump in our Facebook group, Freedom From Concern. You know, if you don't know where the link is, just do a search for Freedom From Concern, no spaces, and come on in. Yeah, man. And uh, you guys can grab the bonus. Um, all you got to do is get in the group. You get in the group, and I'll have the bonus up in there for you guys. Um, I should have the bonus in there probably by late tonight or... Um, early tomorrow. I'll have all these bonuses in there for you guys. So really appreciate your time and uh, this was a lot of fun, man. Did you have fun, Polly? Oh, I had a blast, dude. <laughs> I'm Did fired you learn up. anything? Did you learn anything new? Oh, heck yeah, man. I, like I said, every time I talk with you, I'm always you know, taking notes. I'm always picking up something awesome from you and this just blew me away because uh, I did not realize how powerful a single $25 Craigslist ad could be. And just looking at your inbox, you know, it made me a believer. So I'm going to start blasting Craigslist. <laughs> and the cool thing about it, you can sell anything, you know. This isn't specifically for any business, you know. No, yeah, this isn't like, yeah, this isn't just about jobs and this isn't just about, you know, multi-level marketing. This is about anything. I mean, you know, Craigslist is like one of the top rated sites for traffic. But if you use these tactics, you know, as, as I was speaking of before, these tactics will work with any traffic source, mm -hmm. any traffic source. And they will boost your conversions and increase your engagement by leaps and bounds, you know? Awesome. 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 Well, it was well, my pleasure, guys. Have a wonderful evening, and if you guys, um, you know, want the bonuses, just join the Freedom from Concern group in Facebook, and uh, we'll be chatting with you later. Awesome. Let's stop it, man. Yeah, let's go ahead and stop it. We'll see everybody in the in the Facebook group. This is awesome. Thank you, Brian. Yeah, you're welcome. I I really appreciate your time for everybody, and uh, it was a lot of fun. I hope you guys learned some great information. And uh, micro commitments are where it's at. <laughs> That's where it's at. <laughs> right? Sweet. Sweet. All right.